While there have been great improvements um, under the Millennium Development Goals of getting children into school, um, and I don't want to, to say that that is not a good thing. It is a very good thing that millions more children in Africa are in school. But that there are significant problems with what they are learning, with the quality of instruction, and with curriculum. Um, students are not coming out of school with basic literacy and numeracy skills. They are not coming out of school um, with critical thinking skills, the, the kinds of critical thinking um, abilities that are absolutely necessary for the sorts of jobs that other authors in the report talk about as being important to Africa's future. And particularly as we think about innovation, um, as we think about technology and, and the growth of technology hubs in Africa, um, certainly the growth of mobile money, you know, being something that basically originated in Kenya, um, students need those skills. And so I think that education and particularly curriculum reform at national levels has to be a priority in Africa going forward. Um, as many of you know, most education systems in Africa are, are based on inherited colonial programs. Um, and due to things like lack of textbooks, poor teacher training, uh, most of it relies on rote memorization of facts. I think that this is tied directly two issues of conflict um, in Africa. You know, young people who do not get an education and who do not perceive correctly, perceive that there are no uh, educational opportunities for them going forward. Um, in many fragile states, the rational and lucrative choice is to join a militant group. Um, joining a militant group means you have some guarantee of food, it means you have some guarantee of power, it means you have something to do. This, this becomes a very difficult choice for young boys in, in places like the Congo, for example. Um, and I think that we, we really need to start thinking about um, tying these issues of, of development to conflict and, and particularly in thinking about educational opportunities and what kinds of work that is preparing people to do and how we can discourage engaging in, in these sorts of bad behaviors and also create people who are thinking of creative solutions um, to local problems within their own communities and, and have the skills necessary to come up with, with peace building opportunities, with economic alternatives, um, these sorts of things.